this spiral of violence continues. What do you make of this? What I make of it is that the violence that we're seeing at the moment is, you know, put in place and encouraged by the fact that there is so little knowledge and understanding of what is going on in Palestine and the crimes that are being committed there every day. If, like me, you know people in Palestine, you know journalists working in Palestine, you know uh, human rights organisations working there, your newsfeed every day will be full of videos of... Um, uh, is, uh, of Israeli troops harming civilians, killing children often. We know that 6,400 Palestinians have been killed since 2008 nothing by IDF nothing forces. Nothing justifies the scale of this. This is ISIS-level terrorism. What you're this saying... This is not just a revenge when, attack. Piers, when you put to me a question like that, it's mm. the equivalent of saying, you know, there's a man who's in a house, he's got his whole family there, another guy comes in, kicks him out of his house, mm locks him in the cellar, kills his family, says, you're not coming out. All of his neighbours say, oh, yeah, you're right to keep him in there and just ignore the situation. Suddenly, the man comes up, busts out, says, I'm, you know, I'm going to get rid of, of all of this stuff. I'm burning the house down. Lots of people die. And then the only way that you look at the situation is by saying, oh, let's condemn the man in the cellar.